Speaking of cold, this weekend is a chance for people to get outside and then stay warm, even though we are in the middle of winter. The Fire and Ice Festival hitting the Detroit Riverfront promises to be a lot of fun for the whole family. Tim Pamplin got a sneak peek of what to expect. You can expect a whole lot of fun down here along the riverfront. We're at the Robert C. Valet Park on the east end of the river walk. The ice carvers getting the throne prepared. This year's festival has a slight renaissance feel to it. Take a listen. We are celebrating fire and ice this weekend here at Robert C. Valade Park on the Detroit Riverfront. And uh, as you can see from the fire pits, as you can see from the ice sculptures, this place is gonna be lit up. It is a, it is a slight Renaissance theme, which is why I'm wearing the crown here today, but a lot of fun for families. Yeah, Mark is known as the king of the riverfront, of course. You can try your hand at curling, something I'm gonna have a go at a little bit later on. There's also inflatable axe throwing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, you. <laughs> it's a wonderful opportunity to explore the country's best riverfront. But how do we get to the Valade Park? Yeah, Robert Valade Park is really easy to get to. You can come down Joseph Campo. Everybody knows where the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater is. Everybody knows where the Renaissance Center is. So we're, we're just east of the Renaissance Center and Aretha Franklin. Yeah, it really is a beautiful spot where the river meets the land. The festival gets going this evening, runs all weekend. Now, like I said, I want to try this curling. I'm sure the folks across the river in Windsor are probably chuckling right now. What's the Brit know about curling? Just land in the red. Oops, quick, <laughs> cut to the closing shot. Engineers hopefully didn't see that. The Fire and Ice Festival is nothing unless you've got the fire and ice, and they have that in aces here. <laughs> that is the scene. Along the riverfront this afternoon, Tim Pamplin, Local 4.